Hello, hello everyone. So, as promised, I am starting Fortress Craft 2 development <clears throat> in earnest today. The first thing I need to do is work out why my webcam's not working. <laughs> uh, it's here. I've got this new OBS and I'm just trying to work out how to show me scenes and things. Video capture device, that'll be it. Ah, that's called small webcam. Aha. It's you think by now webcams would be even slightly good, wouldn't you? All set to auto, but I'm still going to have to find Ooh, too many. There's a tick box marked auto, but I can't tick it. Oh yeah, exposure auto minus four. How about how about z? How, oh, and he goes up to minus two. Not. Oh, and these these sliders I'm sliding are about two pixels across. Oh, you can't see Dora because ah, it's not a proper stream unless we got the cat cam, is it? Go, marvelous. Not that Dora is a very predictable cat, and she's already stared at the camera with some uh, <clears throat> some paranoia. Right, let's do the terrifying at everyone. Um, or at least everyone who has if they want announcements on this channel. I will send that message to 533 plus people. Uh, yes, I, well, so I have started the stream now. I was going to start earlier, but I, my car failed. In the UK, we have something called an MOT test, which is the yearly test to make sure the car is roadworthy. And my car has failed with quite a lot of rust. So I'm in a slightly... Slightly sad state of affairs. So, cat set up. I like most streams. What you need to do is you need to sort of start the stream and then not do anything for the first five minutes because then people will miss it. But um, conversely, um, lots of people have said, "Oh, I can't watch it." Um, so, but all the streams will be recorded live, recorded live, recorded forever. So they're all stored on YouTube forever. Um, so I will be talking about stuff and then hopefully i can then send people back um yes it was the subaru um so uh hold on let me let me get a pet let me let me no not so essentially on my car that's actually a pretty good i bet that's a perfect picture in fact that's my exact car so this bit here is a bit of plastic trim and what's happened is it's here they pop the skirts off to have a look and here it's all rusted through and it, it, it's an MOT fail. It's so bad, but they said it's fine on the other side. I'm also, oh, it's a 22 B. I wonder what it was. Um, so it's only here where it's gone rusty. Um, and it's about a thousand pounds to fix, but it's just a bit sad, really. But they said the other side was fine. So. Sort of saying, do, do you park next to a river or something? Oh, sorry, under a gutter. I was like, no, why would I? Why, what? No. So the, the, the driver's side apparently is absolutely 100% just fine. And the uh, um, passenger side. 
Uh, but yeah, so uh, what happens is water gets under the skirt and then just pools and doesn't really drain. And I live in the UK. So sadly, my 25 year old, 25 year old car is um, in need of some love. That that on that looks like a, a model that doesn't even look real. It's so weirdly clean. Oh, 271 miles. That's unbelievable. But yeah, mine's exactly like this. It, 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 it's the only difference is the wide track wheels. Yeah, it's just that that plastic. That's a plastic skirt there. And that's to stop you um, curving it. But yeah, it's just gone rusty. So it's, it is 25 years old, 300,000. So sad face car is uh, car as whole. Um, not really any drain holes. Apparently water just kind of uh, things. Um, okay, so technically it's Fortress Craft Phoenix. But everyone knows FCE as Fortress Craft. So Fortress Craft Evolved to Phoenix. This is equal to SCE and not and not chapter two. Also, also hashtag live streams, live stream chat. I'm really pleased with the live stream chat integration because that's actually pretty good. Uh, I mean, Mr. TNT, bear in mind, I am. Um, I am in the UK, so salt on the roads is just simply a uh, part of the, the, the deal of driving in the UK. I try not to, uh, and I do wash the car. This is the thing. One side of it is fine. The driver's side, they said, fine, absolutely mint, no problems. But what can happen is if you get a chip just there, the rust will, will go through. And it's probably been happening for a few years. And it's now progressed outside of the plastic cover. Um, unknown creation. So it's an MOT fail. So it won't fail. It will fail the, the drivability test in the UK because it's um, I think it's more than an inch of rust. It, basically, if the rust is soft for more than an inch, it's a no. And it just happens to be where it's structural. It needs to be cut out, cleaned, zinc treated replaced unfortunately um so unknown creations there's some so bear in mind my my airbag light is on on my impressa and has been on for quite some years it's a 25 year old car the airbag is not going to work so <clears throat> yes you can get it passed but i am planning to sell it so it's one of those i can't really just sort of go yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it, mate. So yeah, that's that's why the stream is late because I have a I have a sad bit of sad bit of car. I do love my car, even though I am planning on selling it this year. Um, so for sale, one very slightly rusty, mint condition in all other ways. Type R and Pretza. Buyer collects offers in excess of these huge money accepted. Um, so what's happened is um, if you take the skirt off, it's really obvious. But with the, with the plastic skirt on, the rust has just got outside of the skirt. So, yeah, my but as I said, it, my car is 25 years old. It, well, 24.9 years old. So it is an old, old car. So the fact this is the first rust work I've ever had to have done on it's pretty good. But it's... You know, that's that's the nature of driving a classic that is a quarter of a century old. So also, in case anyone is confused, this is Fortress Craft Evolved 2, but it's not. This is Fortress Craft Phoenix, because I don't want to call it Fortress Craft Evolved 2, because uh, how can I describe this? This isn't a sequel to Fortress Craft. This is a 
a reimagining. This is a, 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 it's not a sequel. That's not the right word. This is me taking, this is patch 28, shall we say. Oh, that's loud. And that down a bit. So uh, this is something I'm going to have to um, discuss as the as development goes on, which is I'm not doing a full and complete ground up rewrite of the game. I'm also not just shipping the same game again. I, it is some sort of halfway in between. So it will be the same game. It will have Where's the base? <laughs> mm, there we go. Thank you. It will be the same game again. It will have most of the same sound effects. It will have most of the same blocks. It is not going to be a fundamentally different game under any circumstances. Oh wait, the thing telling me what to do is outside. But you know, I could I could think of it. This game it's set on the same planet as the last Fortress Craft, only it uh, this takes place, you know, quite a long time later or on the different side and stuff. Not surprised. I don't know. But I just want to keep those expectations firmly in line. This is not a completely different game, and at the same time, you don't crash land on the planet. So maybe you know it takes place in the same universe. Yeah, but it's uh, it's a different story. It's a different, sorry, same planet, same story, but uh, uh, same planet, same universe, different story. Is it F10 for the far field? But I don't think there'll be a lot of development today necessarily. It will mostly be me trying to work out where I am. So I have already ported the game to the newest Unity which shockingly worked Unbe it, unbelievably it, it was it took me a couple of hours i was expecting to take a lot a lot of time however there are still lots of issues you can see the uh <laughs> the, the console going mad so i've been kind of just trying to get the game back to a stable state because i i i've moved from unity 5.6 when was that when was that released? Are you not going to give it? You're not going to give a date. Are you serious? Wow, they finally put Distant Shadow Mask back in. Oh, might be a bug so we were on 5.6 i'm just trying to work out when unity 5.6 release date is but i do have uh, when did unity 5.6 release there we go 2017 so that was that was what fortress crop well mostly fortress Craft was on five four five six what is going on I see if it, but so I although I've jumped forwards half a decade and it's been pretty good and it's not been perfect so I am still fixing that and the next step is to really 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 break it so you know you know how Fortress Craft looks and this is one of the um very important points about the game i want it to look much 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 better um i don't think the game plays badly there are there is some stuff i want to change but mostly i think fortress craft as a game doesn't have a lot it needs to to change so yeah um but i i have a very different plan for the quality of the lighting and a lot of that is down to a system called volumetric lighting. Now, if you're used to running Fortress Craft for a thousand frames a second, it's not going to happen. You'll be running a much lower. But so you see the lighting is, it's, it's, 
soft, it, it's volumetric, it looks fantastic. So a lot of my goal will be moving the old Fortress Craft onto a brand new renderer, rewriting <laughs> all of the shaders, all of the shaders will need to be rewritten. Um, yeah, to give you an idea, so this was, a, this was a test I did, to give you an idea of the difference, that's it with no volumetric lighting. So that's, shall we say that's Fortress Craft's lighting. And this is with volume, this is the same thing, but with procedural volumetric lighting. In this case, it catches fire and then it gets smoky and then the smoke drifts away. But this means that things that are lit up, as you can see here, things that are lit up cause light around them. So the first goal is to get Fortress Craft to a state where it works. And I'm not far off. I'm actually quite surprised. And then break it and put a new render in. And if you do not look at this picture and get very, very excited about how the cold caverns will look, then go watch another stream. That for me is the the bit I am super looking forward to is um, that the the lighting underground. Um, so one thing that I. So I don't think many of you remember because it's one of the earlier things that we uh, um, did was the what was called coal damp. So one of the things people don't like about Fortress Craft is you cannot put the extractors anywhere. And there are reasons for this. And they are because I have to page stuff in. Now, you know we have to page stuff in. And the argument would be that you could run an extractor anywhere as long as you ran uh, a weapon. You could run a coal extractor anywhere as long as you ran air extraction to it, i.e. you pump the air to the surface. And we always wanted to have what's called coal damp. So coal damp is what causes explosions when you are really mining in real mining situations. And um, it's quite hard to render. It's quite easy to render when you've got volumetric lighting. So, some thoughts about that. Or oh, you're very big. It, she's not a big cat, she's a teeny bunch. I'm going to make her a little bit smaller. There we go. Uh, cryptic, well, that's the point. The, uh, maybe Shark will do an edit, but this is the point. This is all up there, and hopefully, a few of you will watch it, and you can always ask questions, and then people can just refer you back to it. So, timeline. So right now, I'm ahead of schedule. Not that I have a, a schedule schedule, but right now, I'm actually ahead of where I want to be. So I was estimating a month to update to the new Unity. And that happened in a few hours, and that, that's, that's really, really, really surprised me. But that's a good thing. I'm happy that has happened. So the next step is to to tidy it up. And, and honestly, I'm not very far away. It's mostly working and I suspect that it will be fine by the end of today. Assuming I don't get too distracted talking to you lot. My best guess for making it work in HDRP, redoing all of the shaders, redoing all of the lighting is two months. So in two months, You'll have exactly the same game with no game changes of note. But looking much nicer. So these are... Oh, bugger, did I get rid of the clouds I use? Oh, shoot. <laughs> so I've been clearing stuff out constantly from the game. It looks like I actually cleared out something I didn't mean I shouldn't have. Um... Yeah, I, should, I did actually put Rain March Clouds in, and I think someone, I'm not going to say any name, but it's Steve, I think someone may have got rid of them. 
made a comment to the mats. I think that line there was probably Steve. Oh, wait, if Ray March Clouds is false. What did I hammer? Because they were looking quite cool, but they're going anyway. So my estimated full release date is um, two years. So my, my, my guess is for the, the, well, probably the first early access release date is October 2024. Um, I've got quite good over the years at estimating dates, and that's my guess. So I'm hoping, Neres, you will not be running a 1060 in um 2024 so the goal is to aim very 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 high now and to drop that over time a bit confused though i bet sax i think these are actually quite good I'd like to keep these in just to remind me. See if I can make that work again. Because <clears throat> they were quite good. The Raymark Clouds were, I was actually quite pleased with. But I think what happens, I think Steve may have disabled those and broken it. I'm only guessing. I'm, I'm not sure. Volumetric Clouds FC. What happens there? But these are going. I have a raymarched cloud system that I use, which I shall show you because it's uh, on my YouTube channel. Oh, Phoenix wrong way. Three, four. I may have. I may have listed it. Mm. What? What are you talking about? Filter, visibility. I'm sure they were unlisted. But then I thought I may have... Uh... Am I in the right channel? I'm... Am I in the right channel? Yes. No. No, I'm not. Or maybe I am. <laughs> Let me have a look on the other. I've got another window over with a different, uh, a different account. Uh, I am smart. I promise. No, it's neither of these. Yeah, this is the wrong account. Completely. I want to be on this one. No, I don't. Shut up. It's definitely here. Why the hell can't I find it? Because this is going to be one of my things I'm most looking forward to implementing. Is first, it's the volumetric lighting, and secondly, is the Raymarch cloud system from. Uh, yeah, this is the right channel. Yeah, there we go. Uh, which is the switch I've uploaded last? Because this one, this is my old. This is the old Fortress Craft Raymarch clouds thing. So this was the system I added into Fortress Craft in 2018. Which is all right. I, it's all right. And I was quite pleased with that. I promised to make the game a whole bunch less saturated this time. 
I, I was quite pleased with that cloud system. And then when I worked on Eden, I did a whole bunch. I don't remember which one. It was one of these three videos here, but I don't remember which one is the good one. Probably the one with the longer, longer description. And then I did <coughs> this one for Eden, which was, as you can see, substantially better looking, substantially more interesting and uh, actually will let us have clouds that look like clouds. So I wrote that system for Eden. It's based on the Horizon Zero Dawn tech. It's, it's pretty good. And it also lets you radically control the, uh, the weather. So one of the things I'm planning to do, planning, is to have the game start off with almost clear skies. And af um, as the progression goes on, the clouds get thicker and thicker and thicker and lower and lower and lower until you kill the hive mines. And I'm hoping to have, this, is a, this isn't the right video at all. I definitely did better. This one? One that spins around. So I'm hoping to have like dark, thick, cloying areas around the hive mines here. This is this is the better video. But I should be able to do quite unusual looking uh, clouds and stuff. And I promise to let the game a little bit less saturated than um, Fortress Craft Evolved was. You can see that you can see the sped up version down the bottom there. Quite how how the clouds radically change. Obviously, I've sped it up for this trailer here yeah, because this was just showing off the tech. So you go from that clouds there, and then we move to a new type of clouds, and then the, the color changes. So as you move between biomes, the cloud will change. I'd, I'd love to consider having the clouds blend in the sky over the biomes they're over, but that's realistically not going to happen. So that's one of the things I'm planning on doing. Well, I don't even know why Steam's not working. There's, there's a lot broken and I just need to sort of bring it all back to uh, working. And then when it works, I can then break it again. And then when it's been unbroken again, I can ship it. Well, actually, you know, when it's been unbroken, then I can start on the gameplay changes. So, so right now we are still using a half decade old rendering system. Now I'm I am a bit confused where those clouds are. I did put them in. And as you can see, I've already started to do a bit of work on how the game looks. I definitely want a more alien environment. I will make it less saturated, I promise. Hey, Dora keeps moving. Stop moving, my sweetie. Yeah. No. Cuddling a cable because she doesn't know anything. I don't know why we're having a lot of hive mines dying. I think I may have cheated and spawned lots and lots of hive mines. And then also we've got the uh, fancy new Farfield rendering. So that is, that was again developed for Eden and will be worked on and iterated. But the main point here is that, well, you can notice it's not so much fog. Any, any plans to make it available for Xbox consoles? No. Maybe. Yeah. I need to finish porting Nomancer to consoles, and then I need to make a decision. I know I need to port stuff to consoles. I'm a, I'm a terrible person, I know. Um, I'm running a 3080. Bear in mind, um, I'm only streaming it. I can't see. 
30, 60, I've forgotten. Yeah, I'm only streaming at 30, so it doesn't matter. You, you won't see my frame rate. Um, currently running, despite all the errors, at 30? Uh, that seems quite unlikely. You're running at 30. I mean, the fact I'm, I'm getting hundreds of errors probably doesn't help. Hmm, let me see. The editor's using up half my CPU. Oh, well, hold on. I've just enabled the profile. I don't like that at all. Stop. Okay, go. probably start a drinking game every time unity crashes take a shot actually don't do that you'd end up paralytic quite quickly i, I don't know why it's running badly now i've turned off the profiler and it's like mm. and we do have a lot of issues like audio issues But this is kind of what I want to do necessarily before I start to break it all with fancy new rendering is nail down some of the existing issues. Now, I don't quite know why it's running like this. Because the CPU time is taking up. I bet it's a bloody editor. Like Unity have got worse at that rather than better. Uh... Update. Oh, it's the oh, okay. Oh, so that okay. So it's my fault. <clears throat> That's the long distance of detail. Land uh, the, the long distance, low detail landscape of rendering. Now, hopefully, although there will be fog, it won't be fog to cover up the fact there's nothing. It will be fog to cover up the fact that the far distance isn't quite as. Uh, detailed so the reason that we're getting all of the hive mines spawning and then dying as soon as we can make it daytime where's the sun there it is it's because the game is paging in the map Ooh, map i know i can't wait to rewrite that that renderer as well but on the map you get to see your base, which is there. I've made it too big. You get to see the um, all the hive mines and all the over mines. I'm quite pleased with that. I'm very pleased with that, in fact. I think that's super, super cool. And I can't remember what this is or why it's different to this one. It's been a long time. Oh, I think that might just be a demo one because this is supposed to be the cryo map. Not that you'd know it, that would just be a, uh, you know, it'd start with a sheet over it with a, you don't need this. Here's why I'm only running at 30 frames still. Where my mouse cursor is. Where's my mouse cursor? It's running slow because Unity is running slow. There's nothing I can do about this. So my code is taking 1.5 milliseconds and Unity is taking 23. So I can't optimize. If I make a build, obviously, it will run fine. But yeah, this is your base. This will be a customizable but um, permanent uh layout in here so you and i'm probably going to get rid of this this walkway because originally this walkway is for the intro it's to cover up the loading but i'm probably just going to do that very very different so all this is realistically is your cph your research thingy so you get your cph here doors don't work yet you've got your free power source don't know why there is a smelter there. Here is your suit upgrade system, rather than uh, uh, that there. You'll deal with that here. That's you. This is the upgrade 
station and there is your CPH. In here is a um, your start smelter. So it's still you've got the same stuff. None of that's changed. The bit that's changed is um, that the basic layout of your base is now fixed. But as you all know, like the hive mines, the hive mines move. Hive mines, no hive mines don't move. You mean the eyeball in the hive mind? Why would you want that to move? Yeah, so your base is, that's just your start area. That's not very big. And it does mean that start players, this is important. And this is a, a, an argument I'm going to have again and again and again over the course of game development. So I'm going to have it now. We are not, I am not here to make existing Fortress Craft players happy. I'm here to make new players happy. So, for example, new players get very, well, that's right. new players get very, very confused at this. This is shit. There's nothing good about this at all. That is awful. And the amount of new players who don't get that's how you have to build belts to go up a, uh, a wall is, is endless. So I'm not doing that. Time and time and time and time again, that is as far as people get. Because they're like, I don't see how I make the belts go up the walls. But, and again, your base, your start base is irrelevant. It really is. So I will be starting with the manufacture stuff, like the uh, manufacture mode. So you can't build stuff. It needs to be crafted here more than, um, that's the wrong fill, anyway. What? I don't know what that's doing. So you've got a tiny base to start with, and that should hopefully mean that the start players, the, the very first people, you know, people who've never played it before, they will should be able to understand what to do. And then very quickly, of course, ooh, I just pressed M, wrong game. M? That's in a... So, um, hopefully existing players might get annoyed at the slight babysitting of the very early game. But as I said, this is just the very early game. This is not, you know this if you've played it, you don't hang around in the, um, the game for your base for very long. Anyone who actively uses their CPH a lot is doing something wrong. And as you are all aware, you should spread out. So you do get given, again, as ever, you get given uh, a couple of hoppers. Might be nice if they were taken in the correct direction. I am pleased with the uh, reflection map, though. You can see it's actually reflecting the uh, stuff. But once you start at the beginning of the game, you know, once you've done the first day of play, you know, your first evening of playing Fortress Craft, at that point, you will not be um, here. This base will be, you know, be gone. You might still use the initial smelter and then say, but the smelter axis is on the inside. So you, should, you will be the axe as the smelter. But all of this hasn't been done yet. Um what to tackle. I have no idea. So Unknown Creations, um, you're best off looking at the... So the base game, Fortress Craft Felix, will contain all the Cold Cavern content, all of the Magma Cavern content, all of the Toxic Cavern content, and probably the Railgun. So in effect, it will have the Adventures Pack and the Frozen Factory built in. So that then becomes a single coherent game, not as um, before where you progressed the first part and then progressed the second part. It will be much, much different. And for example, I won't let you run uh, the Frozen Factory at the same time as the Open Mines. So it, it, it will still be the same thing. You build the orbital transmitter, you, you then conquer the Frozen Factory, then the, tos then the Toxic Factory, then the Magma Factory. Those aren't changing, but they should be more coherent as 
I don't need to worry about, do they have this bit of DLC? I don't need to have freeze-on missiles uh, and uh, I forgot the poison missiles and it's got a fancy name. I will need to do DLC for Fortress Craft Phoenix because unfortunately the way that the gaming industry works is I need to sell you the game for $15 and sell everyone the game for $15. But if you really, really, really like it, I need more money from you. And I need something to sell you to make you able to give me more money because Fortress Craft did sell a lot and I don't re I don't have that many Patreons relative and the problem is that isn't enough money to sustain development unless you start selling millions of copies at a lot more money than we are so some form of constant revenue is really important one of the things i've been thinking about um is dedicated hosting of service for example this is the old snow wow so dedicated hosting of servers for for an example i'm just trying to work out where the hell my clouds have gone but you can sort of see i did begin to work on changing the look of the game and uh, people have asked well you've asked me when this will come out it's safe to say the main time it will come out is when it doesn't like fortress craft anymore i think that's one of the most important things it must not look like sort fortress craft so you can tell it different and it's not just oh it's just the same game oh it hasn't changed anything it's really important that it f it feels the same but definitely better and as I said, I don't think there's anything wrong with Fortress Craft, really. I think the main thing wrong with Fortress Craft is how it looks. Which is... Old now. Got the new build gun. And he needs a texture. Uh, Todd needs a texture. Need to poke Todd. But just stuff like, you know, we've got this uh, asteroid belt. If you're playing Astro Trucks, you might notice that asteroid. Yeah, over, but the thing is... So Overwatch just added a tune at the end of the game. You know that's not true, right? Blizzard have spent, you I do not know how many thousands and thousands and thousands of man hours updating and improving their game. And you know that's true. It's not just, we've added some more characters, haha. It is an enormous amount of work. It's the same with Call of Duty. Oh, they've just, they've just made a new level. You know that's not true. I, I mean, it's, it's funny to say it, but... I will be hearing those comments. And, and yeah, you've just said that. You know it's not true, but you say it and other people will then quote you saying it. So I need to make sure that Fortress Craft 2, Fortress Craft Phoenix, looks different, feels more polished. But there's a, there's, there's a long road. There's a genuinely long road between here and... Even, well, I will probably at the end of this stream make a patron build. As I said, patrons get immediate access to everything I do. So patrons get access to... Um... Have I got my headphones on back in front? No, not that. That's a fat person in the whole place. I'm trying to position it with the sound. What else? Steam Deck support, VR support. I, I have so many ideas for the game. I really do. And a lot of it, and I, yeah, I need to be very honest, a lot of it is down to sales and or patron support. So the, the problem is if I sell, a, I think Fortress Craft World sold like 150,000 copies. It made something like a million dollars, which sounds like a lot, until you realise it made a million dollars for about five people over about seven years. So I can do mess my head one, one, two, three, one, two, three. So a million dollars. A million dollars 
over seven years is $142,000 a year. And you add that by FIPO, you're down to $30,000. It's not a lot. So, sadly, one of the... Oh, it's getting quite loud now. Turn it down. One of the things I need to worry about is um, ongoing revenue. And it's the same thing with Astro Trucks. As long as it's making money, I will continue on it. Um, the patrons have been very generous during the, I'll say, hiatus. But that means that I have some money in the bank in order to pay people, to hire people, to get taxes done, to get arcs done. Um, tech, uh, yeah, it looks very pretty. Is it out? Because the thing is, and I mean this in the nicest way, only I don't. Shut the fuck up, guys. You've just seen a trailer. Shut up. Just stop talking. I saw the trailer. Tra right. How does it play? How does it actually play? How does it play after 100 hours? So for all my unhappiness about Fortress Craft, some stuff I think we do brilliantly. And one of the things is um, it changes over the game's sort of progression. So if you, if you, I don't know if you guys played Icarus. So Icarus, I quite enjoyed Icarus. And then after a while, I realised that in hour one, I'm digging up copper by hand, which is, you know, that's all right. Digging up pretty fine. Digging up copper by hand, for sure. In hour 10, I'm digging up copper by hand. Uh, hour 100, I'm still digging copper up by hand. Fortress Craft is very carefully designed to introduce a new mechanic, introduce grind, and then to introduce farming. So at the beginning of any new mechanic, you're doing it by hand. And then as you play it, that mechanic then turns into an automatable mechanic. So you guys have seen the technology tra trailer, right? I've seen the trailer too. It's a great trailer. I don't want to hear about, oh, I've seen a trailer for a game. It looks good. Yeah, brilliant. Because they spent money on it. At least it's multiplayer. Um, is it called, I think it's again called Train Valley 2. I keep getting it advertised and it looks brilliant. I go, ah, oh, single player. Uh... Yes. Te but Tomas, have you played it? Or are you simply talking about the trailer and the nice videos they've shown? Isn't tech, no, isn't that just using, just using the satisfactory Bezier trailer stuff, um, Bezier stuff? Uh -huh. It has a demo. So what you're commenting on is the polish and the graphics. And as I said, I think Fortress Craft's game is fine. And it's not really... No one ever played Fortress Craft for the graphics. People play Fortress Craft for the, the factory building. Probably not showing you. So I... I don't know is the, uh, the about that game. I'm waiting for it to come out. I will play it. Not the demo. That doesn't mean anything. No, the doors don't open. Oh, didn't I just scan something? Oh, I have no power. I don't know, nothing has power. What was that other one? Um, it was a multiplayer survival voxel building game and you had to turn a planet into like a green environment rather than having it all overrun by environmental failures. And it looks good. And you play it for a bit and you go, oh, brilliant. And 10 hours in you go, yeah, no. So, I mean, I think that's, that's where Fortress Craft scores. I'm not going to say it's a 10 out of 10 game. Let's say Fortress Craft is a 6 out of 10 game. Eco, that was the game I was thinking of. So Fortress Craft is a 6 out of 10 game in hour 1. Eco is a 9 out of 10 game in hour 1. Icarus is a 10 out of 10 game in hour 1. The difference is, by hour 100, Fortress Craft is still a 6 out of 10. Whereas Icarus is about a 2 out of 10, and Icarus Eco is about a 0 out of 10. Fortress Craft is consistently mediocre. As opposed to brilliant and then, yeah. Hopefully that makes some some sense. Why is my power going down so quickly? 
Why is my power going down so quickly? I don't need to play it properly. I keep forgetting I can just cheat. Uh... I wonder what the work for excavators are on machinery, probably. Wow. Oh, see, this is the thing. It's been a long time. <laughs> oh, I hurt myself. Thank you. Yes, of course. Um, Tomas, is the is the is the conveyor building mechanic the same as the satisfactory one? By any chance. What I really know about Tectonica is I just saw the comments. Oh, why do we need this when we got satisfactory? Oh, it's just a rip off of Factorio but in 3D. Like, uh, right, did you all forget about Fortress Craft? I, and again, it wasn't just me. I had help, but I basically invented this genre of game. Fortress Craft is the original factory survival game it's not the best one industry is the best one but i get rather sad because i hope that you guys go into tectonica streams going what about fortress craft i hope you do i don't think you do but i hope you do i'm pleased how much still works so you have to remember lots has changed I can't have change weapon. Oh. Scan stuff. <laughs> God. It's one of the keys. There, M. So I don't know how many of you followed the previous dev streams. I'm going to assume none of you followed them at all. So there are, there are, there is some, there has been. What the hell? Oh yeah. I hacked something into those lights. Don't use those. There's no survival hazard. Oh, okay. Factorio was not earlier. Fortress Craft predates Factorio. No ifs, no buts. Definitely. Right, now. There has been a change. And I don't remember how it works. <laughs> so you're going to have to bear with me. Because the ore extractor is now completely different. Like, totally and utterly different and does not work the same way at all. So now you need a motor and a cutter head. So the starting um, thingies act like the end game ones. Yeah. Base extractor motor. So now you've got this bit over here. Even also a line, look at that. There you go. We now have a three-part machine. Technically four. Again, players got very confused at the setup of conveyors, which kind of saddens me, but there we go. So this is a conveyor setup for Phoenix. Not sure why that is. Okay. Um... Bear in mind, Unknown Creations, that's just when we release. 
is that was that the early access release or was that when we announced because obviously we reckon a long time before then i'm not saying factorio copied fortress craft at that point although maybe they certainly copied it since and i have seen fortress craft influence on a number of games but you know But saying it's like satisfactory terraforming, do you just mean it's like Fortress Craft then? Oh, let's also pop down a uh, storage. No, I genuinely haven't played Fortress Craft in a long time, and I do love this game. I do love it to bits. Um, it's just been a long time since I've played it. But I do have a tricky line to walk, which is both improving the game, making it better for new players, and not utterly pissing it off um, existing players. So, you yeah, know, wish me luck. I've had to turn off some of the round off running, by the way. I'm not going to rewrite it because that really does seem like a pointless venture. Because I would need to rewrite it, and then I would need to rewrite it again. But all the instance parts of the game no longer work. Hmm. But I want to make sure the game works before I break it, because it, there will be a real breaking. Foundry... No, I haven't played any... Basically, it goes like this. The best game in this genre, by a huge, huge margin, is Mindustry. And I haven't finished Mindustry yet. Foundry, it's not coming out, so no. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've seen the... Again, I've seen the trailers for this, but I'm like... Eh. Let's wait and see what... I mean, that looks amazing. Look at that. Cool. But that looks fantastic. But then you sort of see this shit here like... Right, do I actually have to build railings? Or is this another one of those massive sandbox games where people put shit together that doesn't actually do anything? But yeah, that looks, that looks amazing. Like, really, really. And I'm looking at some serious rendering going on there. And then I sort of go... Right, did, did I have to build that? Did I have to build this all by hand? Is this a prefab? How is it right? I love that. Look at this giant tank. Oh, that looks... Oh. But, what we're doing here, you see, is we're getting excited by trailer. Yeah. Oh, wow, that look. Why would you put that in your trailer? That looks terrible. Don't put that in there. No, no, this is not for... This is a game called Foundry, which I have seen, and it does look great, but this is the trailer for the game. Make me, me out really, really, really clear. This is the trailer. Now, if this game's not inspired by Fortress Craft, I will... Again, in your trailer, could you not even be bothered? When you're showing off your trailer, could you not even bother to just put four different skins on? Like, that's a weird, weird, weird uh, thing. Also, no bump mapping. But, I mean, that looks fantastic. That really looks brilliant. But I'm... I suspect this is all faked. I mean, I'm looking down here at something that just sort of hits the wall. So... Ah, oh, it's a drill machine. But, yeah. I, it, that looks... That looks amazing. I You know, totally different style to what Fortress Craft is going to be. But, we'll see. Because it ain't out yet. One of the requested features has been out at a jetpack. I don't believe... But, bear in mind, I achieve a lot in Fortress Craft and it's just me. If I had a team, I could definitely achieve more. And they they look like they're doing 
the fluid sim that I'm doing. And that, you know, that again looks fantastic. But let's let's wait and see what it actually is. Yeah, there is a demo, but a demo isn't a game. A demo is a demo. And all you can take from a demo is maybe it will be good. I am currently working on Fortress Craft 2. Yes. Uh, technically, it's Fortress Craft 5, but, but we're calling it Fortress Craft Phoenix. Um, I may actually have to fix that bug because that looks bad. We have a battery. But yeah, uh, I'm not special in any way. What I have written in Fortress Craft, anyone could write. The Foundry looks brilliant. We'll see whether or not it's any good. So, we'll see. As I said, the important thing to know is something I want to want to probably reiterate is Fortress Craft will never be a 10 out of 10 game. It will never be a 9 out of 10 game. It is a 6 out of 10 game. But it is a game that is 6 out of 10 for the whole thousand hours you play it. Whereas um, other games, they start off at, you know, 10 out of 10 or whatever, but over the time they get worse and you're like, I don't, I don't want to do this mechanic anymore. So I think that's where Fortress Craft scores quite a lot. Great lasers. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Neres, I don't really have time, to be honest. Um, I have played a lot of Mindustry because it's absolutely brilliant. And as I said, hand on heart, Mindustry is better than Fortress Craft. Fortress Craft looks better. For Mindustry looks like complete and total ass, but it plays so well. Um, but I don't generally play competitors games because I don't like getting accused of copying them. I like to be able to say, no, dude, I never played this game. Well, it looks like we may have to do our first bit of debugging then. Is this the only laser in the game? We'll find out. Um, I mean, Tanner, uh, did you play the re-release of Chapter 1? Because uh, I bet if I talk about that, half of you go will go, what? So for Fortress Craft's 10th anniversary, I re-released the game. Uh, well, <laughs> there was a lot of work involved, but the game got re-released on thing, sold absolutely no copies at all. Sadly. But I re-released it, high resolution, great big draw distance support, lots and lots of things. I mean, Fortress Craft's Fortress Craft Chapter One was gold. Whenever that was, I'd have to have a look it up because Fortress Craft Chapter One had the beginnings of. Uh... Oh man! <laughs> there you go. April 8th, 2011, it was released. So Fortress Craft Chapter 1 had, on the Xbox, had the beginning of it. You had mining, you had conveyor belts that were all in. They weren't very good, but they were all in. Um, and I re-released Fortress Craft Chapter 1 on Steam. Don't, uh, don't forget that. Um... Unknown creations, they're not doing anything. I need to work out why. Because that's... I need to make sure the game works before I break it. Because otherwise, when I break it, I won't know whether or not it's something new I've done. But it says searching for power consumer interface. So... and But it has been a long time since I've been in this code base. It's not loaded in my brain. I need to go... Yeah. Okay, so can I get at 
Uh, how many lays, how many power transmitters are there in the world? Yes, there's only one. Awesome. Right. But yeah, um, the Fortress Craft Evolved had everything that Fortress Craft Chapter 1 had in it, but no one cared. So these search... Okay. we didn't find anything. Beam stroke length is one. The so beam stroke length is beam stroke length correctly incrementing. But I have played a bunch of other factory games, and I don't think they're as good in many ways. But I mean, Satisfactory Factory. Oh, it's beautiful looking. But then I went. But I can't edit the landscape. Uh. Uh, and then Planet Nomads was single player. And most I, I, one of the things I want to make different about Fortress Craft Phoenix is I want to make it more like you're building a base, which is why I'm going to make you use rooms. Because you don't just build machines outdoors. That ain't a thing. Well, except maybe in Texas. All right, so the beam stroke length is sticking at one. Ba ba ba. So we've hit a type one. Shoot, what's type one? I don't know. Type one is air. Oh, okay. Oh, ha! <laughs> I think the issue is that air is of type glass. Oh no, hold on, we should then go impacted. It doesn't have an entity. It's not solid. Huh? Well, I can see the issue. I'm just not sure how to fix it. Let, let me check I haven't changed the code. So the issue is it's hitting air and going, well, that's solid. There's lots of things I love about Fortress Craft, and the main thing is I I fucking love survival tower defense factory games. And the best thing about this one, do you know what the best thing about this one? I can fix it. I'm gonna I'm gonna mock Steve. Yeah, good. That wasn't my code. Um, air should probably come back with being is glass. Yeah, because he didn't check if the cube is solid, just if it's glass. Um, now, the thing is, I've got to fix it without breaking anything else. <laughs> There's only been one change. It's been there and he broke it. <laughs> Uh, right. So if cube if cube helper is air, no, I think I just actually just do uh, what else we got? Is glass is solid because that's what it was predicated off, which was is solid.
I mean, if you if you broke something, that's fine. It just got to get fixed. You know, that's just how it works. Except you to say the cube is solid. No, because what unknown creations I can do that. But are there any other types of brick? Oh, sorry, block that are not solid that I should worry about. What about water? Should laters go through water? Should glass, in fact, return air as a yes, I'm glass? To be fair, there's only three places we actually care about this. Not more like a... More not like a Oh god, no, they're, they're, these these are power lasers, not I because we used to predicate off is solid. So previously we said if it's solid or it has an entity and Steve doesn't bother checking whether it's solid or it has an entity anymore. I kinda want him to respond with with a yeah because blah 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 or Oops. This change fixes it so that all track blocks lasers. Okay. Which is true. It does. Uh, I mean, I will just say for the moment, if L cube dot is a uh, dot cube types dot air. It has not impacted. Also, not glass. So we're not checking if it's got an entity. We're just saying... I mean, what? I, oopsie. What? A copyright owner using content ID has claimed some material in your live video? What? Oh, right, for an old video. Right, oh, God. Thought it meant the one I was watching. Uh, right. Steve, should his cube glass return true for type air? Oh, Steve's responded. Oh, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. He's blaming someone else now. <laughs> That's brilliant. He goes, oh, it wasn't me. Was it Mad Vandal or Zebra? <laughs> yeah, nice try. Your name's on it. <laughs> Alright, that should fix it. <laughs> to be fair, he did do it in August 2020. I don't expect him to respond, but this is why we all have logons for the code base so we can just go, actually, it was uh, things. Hello, Nino the Gnome. Is there an is opaque? I can't remember. It might just be. But I can't spell opaque. O-P-A-Q-U-E. Good word. I like it. No, there isn't. It might just be that air should be marked as glass. That was just really funny, Steve, going, wasn't me. There we go. Now, for all its faults and for all its ancient rendering, 
Wolf Scruff looks pretty good. The lighting is pretty good. I can't wait to see the new one. But yeah, I was just really amused him going, that wasn't. But we have got some new stuff. We have got the nice shiny reflections from the sky, which I'm pleased about. I only tried to do one thing and it broke. So I just wanted to show you guys the new um, conveyors, not conveyors. Drill. It's even geared up to like visual. Let's see, it's even got a crystal to fire in a laser into. Look at that. Oh, very posh, isn't it? I think I did this pre COVID. Uh, power. Uh, maybe that's not working. Maybe I should put a decent laser. I, I am English. I is well English, in it? How cool is that? You even have a place to put the power into. I mean, you won't. You'll stick a battery there, but... This is the sort of thing we're doing, is to try and make the game a bit more understandable. How do I... Ugh, does anyone remember what the slime attractor looks like? Because I don't. Because they're being annoying. So, other things. I want to make more of the... Um, the mobs. So, for example, slimes won't just hang around near your ore extractors. They will gum them up. So they'll stop working as long as there's a slime there. So you will have to defend it. That's one of the things that I think is more important. Too many of your underground bases are this big. I want to make your surface base smaller and your exploratory base much, much bigger. What time is it? Three o'clock. What time do I need to stop? So I probably got about two hours. What I'll probably do is about four o'clock, I will bite the bullet unless we've got something seriously wrong. And we will, uh, I will finish my sentence and um, I will do HDRP. So let's grab the Trello, not that Trello. You have a Trello. Public, you are all allowed to look at the Trello. You can't edit the Trello because it's mine, but you could look at it. Um, and I'll say this now, and again, I will say this a thousand times. You are welcome to submit bugs. You're welcome to say this doesn't work. However, you have to have read everything on here and you need to make sure it's not on here. That's really important because... I can describe this. I had someone te say to me, um, I found a bug and I said, well, is it already a known bug? And he goes, oh, I haven't got time to look at that. And I said, well, look, if a thousand people all say I found a bug, I have to then work out if it's a bug I know about. So, yeah. My sanity, yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure this is pinned in the Fortress Craft 2 channel. Let me check. It is, I mean, I'll put it here as well, but it is in the Fortress Craft 2 channel. But it's really important that people 
I'm happy to accept bugs. Just make sure I don't know about them because I probably do. I, I almost always know about the bugs. Right. So what I'm going to do is I am going to... Yeah, see, there's a lot. Now, I was going to start on some. Okay, let's let's hear. So we want to implement Eden Ray Marched Clouds. Implement uh, Eden based um, Atlas rendering. That's not going to be easy. And based LDL. I might need to do these in an order. But one of the things I want to do is convert to HDRP and then fake up a target um, image. So fake up one image, you know, not fake it up, but it'll be done in the editor saying, this is what I want the game to look like. Does that wrap? That's really annoying. I also, yeah, it's also worth noting that we have already had quite some substantial upgrades. I'm not sure I'll be able to show you. I will try. Oh, that won't work, will it? Because it's totally thing. Uh, might be able to. That might be able to work. Yeah, you probably can't see it there, but yeah, these things are pulling out reflections. So you can see these um, reinforced blocks here. You can see that it's reflecting the brown of the landscape. But if I go over here to where it's green, I put it down, it's green. So we have already had some performance improvements. Uh, and visual improvements. I mean, I think the landscape looks a, a bunch better. We do have marching cubes. I think I'm sacking off marching cubes. Um, that's it. F11? No. 12? No. There was a button to flip it across. The problem with the marching cubes is I nearly got it to work. And if you're a if you're an absolutely brilliant programmer and you want to, to um, implement marching cubes, you want the code base, let me know. You could definitely do it. I got quite close. So we do have marching cubes the poly generation is trivial the mixing and matching of textures and solid and non-solid ones not so much so it ain't happening i investigated it's not happening I, i'll see if i can show you why it's not happening it will crush 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 out a while so it becomes very hard to make stuff with your blocks it looks cool and there have been and there are there are other rendering systems you can use but it does look cool it looks very cool but i am possibly looking at several months of implementing the texture part it's beyond me i don't have time it's just me i i got kind of there I could probably get them with triplanar. I never worked out how to have hard-edged, um, uh, hard-edged stuff. If I make a uh, a three by three block, although I did set the um, density high, it, it just doesn't work the way I would expect it to. So there's a block. That's going to be great. I can see the reflection. See, it's got a blue sky reflection. In watching cubes, but it does this. So, yeah, I'm. That's not happening. So much as I would like it to, and you can also see how quickly I can re-render the whole world. Quite impressed with that. Uh, and there have been a whole bunch of speed ups. Like this game is a lot quicker than Fortress Craft was. Like a lot quicker. Uh, like rebuilding the level. I did do a whole ton of work. I plan to do a whole ton more. 
But I will, or I plan to, have the um, hive minds. Um, sorry, the resin rendered like this. So the, the issue comes with generating UVs. The actual meshes, say, say if I leave it on, you have to see the actual uh, meshes are fine, 100%, no problems. Apart from high density meshes. So no stuff you build, you don't want to be smooth like this. But it does look cool. And it doesn't look like Fortress Craft suddenly. It doesn't even look like voxels. So I may, I may return to this. Well, yeah, so right now I've got the, um, I think it's our Ted to turn on the, yeah, there's something wrong with the detailed landscape. So we have the the, the far field rendering from um, Eden, but it's broken. <sighs> so marching cubes is very easy, but no one talks about texturing marching cubes. That's the problem. So marching cubes is a almost literally trivial thing to implement but no one talks about texturing them because that on the other hand it is an incredibly difficult thing to do i kind of got there where was that hive mind there it is okay, so let's switch this back off remo Oh, that's not hive mind. <sighs> Let's rerun the game. After a while, things start to break. These are all sort of semi-built test rendering things. So it only took me, uh, I don't know, a few. Oh, put myself in the eye. A few days, a week to do that but texturing is the hard part so i just stabbed myself quite hard on the eye with my own thumb now because i'm uh i am a grown-up and i dress myself and apparently i'm awful oh ow that really hurts oh. got how cool the, the grappling hook is as well Now, one thing it's not doing is it's not paging in the um, hive mines. It should be. That should be one of the things it does by, by over mines. I'm expecting to see them, but I can't yet. Ah, my eye. Oh, my God. I can't believe I did that. Just tried to itch it. No, I didn't. I tried to scratch it. Itch it. Ugh. I'm hoping, though, to use a lot of modern rendering techniques. I want to use SSRP. I want to use RTX. I want all those things. Right. So there's the base. So there's a hive mind just there. There is something... Ah, there it is. <clears throat> there is something specific I want to show you. Because I did implement the system to allow different types of block rendering. So that means that um, I can shove... So, you know, you've got lava in the game. That means that the lava renders differently to the what the the lava renders differently to the blocks, so I can use a different system. So that means that the resin can and will render differently. Let me just make this bigger, if I remember how. Agitator again. If anyone can remember the agitator icon. Let me know, because I don't. Oh, my eye. Oh, my God. I'm so incompetent. The constructor bots will definitely go. I'm quite sure of that. 
wasp with an up arrow. No, 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 no. The hive, not the one that gives you more threat, the one that pisses off the hive mind. Oh, I forgot about Sarah. Sarah's cool. You can tell I played Deep Rock Galactic. Deep Rock Galactic was also cool. So Sarah is a robot that will follow you around if you want. And then you put resources in it and it takes it back to base. So you don't have to start off with the thing. Yes, but what's the icon on the agitator? I thought the wasp one, that's a threat maker, isn't it? I forgot the name of the bloody things myself now. It's been so long. Yeah, this generates threat. I don't want threat. I want to uh, uh, agitate the hive mind. It's poking a wasp hive with a stick. Yes, of course it is. Have we seen it anywhere on this page? I'm suffering from what's called stream blindness, where you can all see it and I can't. I wonder if it's under defences. No. Mining? Probably not. And if you see it, don't just say, I've seen it, you know, let me know where where it is <laughs> relative to other things. Yes, but this is a debug screen. This is not a screen that you're supposed to use. This is for me. It, I know it's a picture. Oh, it's a picture of a bee. Yes, there we go. It's just a picture of a Right, there we go. Is it just power? Not that. Yeah, you might have noticed none of the plants are rendering. Again, that's all broken. That's 100% broken, and it's not coming back until I switch to renderers. Yeah, so let me make a note on the Trello there. Um... Probably uh, implement Im, implement GPU instance uh, update. That will probably come. Actually, it won't. Let's be honest. It will be the fake one. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Machines I spent an hour making. So forget the landscape, just look at the um, hive. This is kind of how I expect the hive mines to be in Phoenix, is, is that will look very different to the landscape. Again, if you are a shit hot programmer, you are good at graphics programming, you are good at maths. I'm not good at maths, really not. So if you are that sort of person and you want to implement slash fix the texturing for the landscapes along with the um the density problem hit me up i will absolutely get you to sign the nda i'll absolutely get it if you, but i have spent too much time on it it is very unlikely i will go back to it it is it is a gnarly gnarly problem and it's not a problem i can write and do at the same time as the rest of the game yeah you can see there like there's the whole so the hole becomes there. It becomes quite tricky to work out where to build stuff. But if that's your bag, totally. 
I could probably even find some money for it. And it's mostly written. That's the other thing. I might try triplanar, but triplanar only works for rock and landscape and things. There it is very shiny. Well, probably, he said, implement the, the HDRP renderer, which I will start in half an hour. Bear in mind, that's it. That's the last time you're going to see this game running for quite a long time will be when I implement that, because at that point, that's when it all breaks and it will really break. But I really like the marching cubes look. There are better systems, like surface extraction, dual contouring. But for what we've got, I really like that. But I can't use it for the landscape. But I can use it for there. I love that sound. Sound of a of a hive mind growing. Hey, let's get rid of that so I don't end up ruining my entire base. I probably already get already get rid of. But I really, really, really liked in Deep Rock Galactic all the robots that came and did shit. I really like that. And that's what that was, was I really like it. But Sarah keeps getting stuck. So it's not uh Not necessarily something I will keep. But I am impressed how quickly I can switch. Eventually it does throw wobbly if I keep doing that. Wait, did the chat break? Because I said something in the chat and it's not turned up. Oh. So as I replied. So, yeah, I, I mean, the basic upshot is I... I am working on this game, no matter what. I hope that I can make enough money to continue working on it. I have a long, long way to go. There, there is a lot of work to be done on this game. A lot. But hopefully some of you will join me. And, and, I'm, and I, I know I will bang on about this a lot, but two, two things. First of all, please, please do hit if you're not subscribed on YouTube, please do. But hit the little bell icon. Otherwise, you don't get notified when I go live. So this all came in since I started my channel. So though I have like 8,000 subs, almost none of them get notified when I go live. Like genuinely, about 50 people get notified. So if you haven't got the bell icon and you want to watch the videos, I mean, if you don't want to watch the videos, obviously don't. Please pay attention to that. Um... And secondly, it's not the sales of the game that are important, particularly now I'm not really interested in the sales of the game. The Patreons are what are important. So the Patreons are repeated revenue, and that is what sustains this game. Unless, of course, this game ships major numbers. In that case, it doesn't matter. I don't need recurring revenue if this game ships 10 million copies. Fortress Craft shipped, as I said, something like 150,000 units. Although any of you who hang on the Discord, you know my my utter pain and nightmare at the... Um... Oh, um, at the sales the game went in. So this game will not be... It might be in deep discount, but I'm prob probably selling this game $35, but heavily discounting it a lot because I'm sorry, that's how Steam works. If you don't like it, I'm on your side. I think it's awful. And as I've said before, I'm only a teeny tiny developer. I'm a little teeny tiny one man dev. I am not the man to change the way Steam works. Good on Factorio. Or is it, was it Factorio that never went on to sale? Was it something else? 
some game very, very famously said we will never go on sale. And I'm like, you will when you've run out of money. I don't remember how to get a laser gun. <laughs> now I can craft them. Like the handheld gun. Yeah, so that is one of the, the gameplay features. I should probably make sure it's on uh, Twitch. Oh, um. Short term. Uh, slimes to gunk up extractors. Gun turrets to target. Um, yeah. So people keep asking me about that one thing. And one of the things I do keep saying is I really want the resin. Rated T for teen. Shut up. I really want the resin to look like the gunk in this game because the look at look at now this again. This is a USP of this game, so it would be hard, if not impossible, for me to get it just as a feature but look at the way so this is meta blob rendering and it's beautiful and it's meta blob rendering off a density field it's just amazing so that's how they've done our you know, resin um is there any more on the trailer and you get entire rooms filled with the stuff like this like these huge things and it's like oh that is amazing so i can't to do that but i would love to so if the patronage hits the required minimum level, I I promise to work on this game. Oh man, spoilers, I haven't got this far on the game yet. I, I promise to work on the game as long as I can. If the patronage goes high enough, I will happily hire a programmer whose, whose first job will be re-implement a new rendering system for resin that looks like that. First job implement marching cubes if i could give to a talented unity based programmer graphics programmer some tasks um i would i would do so yeah here we go this, this was one bit that was uh where, where are you actually climbing the tower Unfortunately, the game doesn't really have enough gunk in it. But you can see as it moves through, it's a super cool effect. And I would love to have the resin look like that. Absolutely love that. Great game, by the way. Um, very much enjoy it. When I got when I just looked at their gunk rendering, I was just like, holy shit, that was wow, that is something else. Get this, we don't care about the crappy combat. Yeah, but I've slowed it down, obviously. It, it really, really looks and feels amazing. But that is some bloke has spent months just doing that one effect for this game. That is one of the big things about this game, is that astounding gunk effect. Um, yes, I mean, well, if we, uh, if we go back in time a bit, you are probably too young to remember Captain Blood. However, I was blown away by this i was utterly utterly could not understand how this was done how how are they rendering the planets like this it just boggled my mind and i it was like oh, i'm not talking absolutely amazing. and then you got this bit where you flew through a landscape i was like whoa and then shocking when you arrive, it did this. Can you believe? I mean, bear in mind, this is as fast as the computer could do it. But it was like, whoa, how is that even possible? And I was about seven or something when I played this. And even so, I'm just like, this is, I, 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 I don't, uh, how does this work? How do I, how do I write something like this? And yeah, so I've always appreciated games in a, in a different way to 
normal people. Um, all right. Uh, implement decal mip pressure. Um, implement uh, streaming mips. <laughs> See, just think about these. A lot of these are uh, going away. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, where's Steve? Well, that's now fixed. Hooray. Um, I did not, I have, I had caverns pre Minecraft certainly, but cavern, that's only because Minecraft rendering was shit. And we decided to have a uh, um, much bigger one. So yeah, it's coming up to the point where I'm gonna start breaking stuff. So if you have any further questions about stuff that I might... What are you doing, Dora? Oh, she's doing a stretch. If you have any questions about something that I might... You might want to see, let me know. Because otherwise, I am going to... Um, i make a build first, though. Don't know how long that's going to take. Yeah, but right now, the art oh, not artist build. God, there are so many messages. Yeah, so none of this will happen. All of this will go away and I'm using a completely different system. Um, I will probably actually um, investigate MIP pressure for uh, Atlas. Because right now, we do an awful lot of um, dynamic loading. Fine. All right, yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. So the uh, so this unity. What do you sort off? So this that conveyor belt, as you um, put something on it. Well, uh, so if you're mining copper, copper goes up the belt. Work out why that. We were lo oh, no. seven, which is coal, coal or full, and we're not doing the error. So why was that coal or LMAT equals? Oh, it's a local variable. 
Why is that not a sign back? So I point Elmat at Kolor. Then I signed Elmat. Yeah, I probably needed to... Uh, then... Do... That. Wow. But this is probably irrelevant because Unity, after, oh my god, forever, has finally implemented texture streaming. So all of this is because Unity didn't have texture streaming. And it now does. So I had to implement my own texture streamer. Now I don't need to, it's done properly. I guess I'll nickel with an LE. Oh, if I change that, it will break the. Just, I'm just umming and arg about making a build. I mean, I think most of you are Patreons. Do you want to build? Do you want me to get on with shit instead? I mean, there are still issues in the game. Right? Um, quite major issues. There's sanity checks, throwing errors. I don't even know what this means. I won't make a build. There's no point. It's not playable anyway. Um, in a lot of ways. Well, I'll fix that bug anyway. The gap between the build now that there is a build that don't forget right now, which is the last build made. I haven't fixed anything. So what's happened is between the last build, I've broken a lot and I fixed it all. But there's not actually much different. So, I've just committed. Um, the next step is to click there, click here. Actually, no, the next step is to Google. Let's, let's, I'm uh, uh, converting burp to HDRP. Uh, Converting, here we go. Now, why would I convert? Now, this may mostly, mostly work. Um, no, um, the updates are going to Phoenix. So Phoenix is on Steam. It's there. And if you are a, oh, who's playing the industry? without me um so phoenix is on steam uh and patreons with a hundred dollar lifetime are entitled to it last played <laughs> so the steam integration is totally broken i'm rewriting that anyway because i was like oh apparently i've only played 27 minutes that's not true yeah, so it would just be on Felix. God's mistake, I just use as a place to put things. What's currently on God's mistake? Let's see what the last thing I uploaded to God's mistake was. So this is a place where I put prototype projects and things. I think it might be a VR game. Oh, yes, it's this one. It is. It is yeah. So this is currently what's on uh, God's Mistake. So I, I occasionally work on projects. I work on um, things. Uh, yeah, probably. Bear in mind, this is my developer account too. Did they ever add options for wave control?
you. Uh, But yeah, it's because it's all the forum stuff, and then um, there's the Fortunecraft forum. There's the other games I've written. There's the uh, um, what Harvest Base. No one's responding to Astro Trucks. Uh, have to give feedback about the game. Well. Um, patrons. And I know I'm pushing the patron thing hard, but that is because the landscape for indie gaming has changed. I cannot rely on the sales anymore. I wish I could, but I can't. So I have to rely on, um... I have to rely on, on patronage more than anything else. And we'll see what happens. I hate this. It combines the different material apps the built in. Into, it, see, it, it doesn't. I wish it did. Well. Let's clicky the clicky. Um, so right now for Fortress Craft, Evop Phoenix, I don't want a lot of people to have it. Not because I want it, you know, to be super hidden away and things, because it doesn't work. It's not going to work for a while. I don't want any feedback on what I've made at all. I'm not interested. Anything you have to say, the only response you're going to get from me is, I haven't got there. I haven't looked at it. I know. Comments on the design documents, comments on the progression of the development, comments on the um, uh, where it's going. Absolutely. 100%. Totally interested. But the actual builds, there isn't much use. I need to redo the Patreon page. I am fully aware it is totally out of date and I super duper apologize. So right now, if you have more than a hundred dollar lifetime and that's lifetime not monthly but if you have more than a hundred dollar lifetime um patronage you essentially get access to everything and part of that is because what i don't want anyone to do oh, i've clicked the button what i don't want anyone to do is to sign up to patrons for ten dollars get everything and then catch their patronage patronage is not about you getting access to something special the the builds that i give are a thank you they're not there as a perk um so it's really important to note that so you, patronage is there for you because you're saying i want you to work on this game i don't want you to have to cancel i don't want you to have to go and get a real job i want this game to come out i want you to work on this game it doesn't mean, as I said, it doesn't mean I give you $100 and I get access to stuff. It is pure, not as a thank you, but it is is just you saying, carry on working on this stuff. Um, I do have, I say, quite a bit of money in the bank. It doesn't last very long, but the patronage has built up quite a bit of money since, since Fortress Craft was shipped. And that money will go towards my wages. It will go towards paying for assets. It will go towards voice acting. It will go towards modeling, texturing, paying people to make the game happen. It will go towards marketing, all of that stuff. So, um, oh, it started. I should make a note. So we do have a, cha a channel for, for this. Why can't I see the threads? Threads, there we go. 
fixed issue with LPTs, uh, fixed issue with, um, what was the other thing I just did? I did something else. Oh yeah. Uh, dynamic or textures moved to HDRP. Now this might go smoothly. I don't know. Some of it depends how much of the built-in render pipeline still works in HDRP. It's possible none of it does. And then all of the um, landscape rendering needs to be rewritten. All of the instance rendering needs to be rewritten. A lot of stuff needs to be rewritten at that point. I don't know. I'll find out when this dialog box fills up. And hello, Peter. Good afternoon to you. So for those of you who, who have been following, um, I have also been working on a, a spaceship game. Um, and the spaceship game is, um, what's the word? Like Euro Truck Simulator in space. So I will be doing a stream on that this evening because I'm hardcore. So I have been working on a new networking system. And Astro Trucks is the uh, test bed for that. And I've also been learning an awful lot about the new rendering systems in Fortress, uh, in Fortress Graph, in Unity. So we are, we are progressing. And holy shit, I forget how big this game is. It's really big. So we're now about to move from a renderer that was finished development in about 2013, about 10 years ago, to a state-of-the-art Physically based lighting, linear lighting, HDR lighting, tile clustered forward and uh, a cluster hybrid deferred forward lighting architecture, full volumetric rendering, RTX, volumetric lights, the works. Now, there is a chance I'm going to change my mind. So the goal is here that I will now make the game work again or in basically in about an hour. I'm going. I will probably do some more. Uh, me. I will probably do some more work for next week's stream. Um, this is planned as a regular thing, as much as I can. Even if I don't stream, I will be working on Fortress Craft every Friday from now on. As Astro Tux winds down, I will put more and more time into Fortress Craft. And when Astro Tux is on a bit, I'm just like, oh, I don't want to work on this. I can come back and I can do Fortress Craft. I love Fortress Craft. I, I know I keep talking about the patrons and I will keep talking about the patrons until I have enough money in the patronage monthly stuff to pay for three people. Me, maybe four people. Me, another programmer, a modeler and an artist. So at the minute we don't. At the minute I could I can't even pay my mortgage on what the patron makes. It helps but it's not enough. So I need to do this. Now, also bear in mind, it's just me. I'm here. I'm doing everything. If you love this game, and I know some of you do, you need to tell people. I can only, I'm only a tiny, teeny person. I can't shout very loud. But if you, you came on my stream and you told me about that game I forgot the name of. You told me about Foundry. You told me about Tectonica. I hope you go onto Tectonica and Foundry and Satisfactory Screams and going, what about the new Fortress Craft? Has you seen that? Um, Nicholas, I don't know how much patron... Uh, $1,100 a month or something like that? As I said, my best guess for Fortress Craft's release is probably Christmas 2024. Hopefully sooner. But that is my estimate for how long it will take to rewrite everything that needs to be rewritten make everything pretty that isn't pretty rebalance the whole game where it needs to be there is a lot to do yeah about, about 1100 a month there we go which is not it's not enough to, well it's enough to live on at a sort of well it's not that's like that's not even minimum wage at that point but as for telling people this game exists, as for growing the, the community, that's not something I can do by myself. 
that's you guys. That's you posting stuff on Imgur, on 9gag, on Reddit, on Twitter, on Facebook. This is you doing streams of the game. I can't do that. Raven Mad Cow. Oh my god. So did you, did you, uh, my dear lovely person who I do see on, uh, you're on my friends list on YouTube. Did you on, oh god, hold on, is it? Did you watch my video on the Steam Deck videos? Because. Welcome to an occasional series called Does It Run on the Steam Deck? Yes, it does. So, the game runs on a controller. Already does. Fortress Craft already runs on a controller. Now, don't get me wrong. It doesn't run very well on the controller. <laughs> so, um, I was like, I was like, holy shit, this works. F -f -f wow. It's really important to me going forwards that everything runs on the Steam Deck. I love my Steam Deck. My Steam Deck is the best thing. I love it to bits really really love it so controller support is very very important so i need to make sure i support the steam controller at that point you can remap anything you like onto the input so if you use uh what's that microsoft thing called the microsoft um disability controller it's got a f it's got a cool name um microsoft controller what's it called it's the adaptive controller yeah uh, I, well, while it's important, I will mention this to you because some of you might not know. Um, during Fortress Craft Chapter 1's development, I received a very, very touching email from a, I'll say Afghanistan vet. It may have been somewhere else, but I think he was from Afghanistan. And he just said that he loved Fortress Craft because he... There was no requirements for dexterity. There's no time-based requirements. There's no, you can take as long as you like to play the game and it doesn't matter. And that's really, really, really important to me. Um, that as many people as possible can play Fortress Craft. This is not just to make money, but it's genuinely an important thing. And I, I made a vow at that point that nowhere in any of the games that I wrote like this in Fortress Craft specifically, that there would never be a dexterity requirement and there would never be a time-based requirement. So even if you only had one finger and you could move a mouse, you can play Fortress Craft. You never need to go from A to B quickly. You never need to um, have a timing puzzle. It's always possible. And because it is a game about the factory as i say to people in the nicest way you are irrelevant scum you are nothing you are a tiny gnat what is important is your factory is your base that's what matters that's what does the work you put it together it does the work so fortress craft is supremely suitable for um that sort of game because you can do stuff whilst yeah, as slow as you like and the factory will work and i broke my arm oh gosh about five years ago i broke my right wrist fell off a motorbike and i i bought an auto fire mouse and i played an awful lot of idle games and i realized really quickly holy shit there aren't very many games that you can play with only one arm there really aren't and i'm playing fortress craft today for the first time in a couple of years going there's a lot i, I need more shortcuts <laughs> So I'm like, click here, right click that one, middle click, inventory, lots of stuff. So it's important to me that Fortress Craft supports the Steam controller because then by default, it will support all controllers. So I only need to write support for that one controller and that's, that's really important that it will. Um, but Fortress Craft is playable on a controller, but it's a bit rubbish. I believe someone's done a... Herbity, herbity, herbity for it, haven't they, though? Let's have a look. Oh, so who's playing it? Samadhi is idling in Fortress Craft. I believe, though, I believe I hurt my eye when I stabbed it earlier. Um,
Uh, where do I set the um, controls? That don't need to be running yet. Um, I mean, my wrist still hurts, and I got COVID, and that gave me a new cough. But yeah, my, my I was worried I'd done myself a serious, serious injury. Yeah, control configuration. There we go. Uh, you know, in a serious internal injury. Why just clicking? There we go. So, Raven Mad Cow, it is already possible for you to use this to. Um... Now oh, that's loud. Oh, no one's done a configuration for it. Wow. So, yeah, um, very important get that the game has pad support. I will make sure it has Steam Control support. I would love for it to have VR support, we'll see. It will, I'm sure it will have VR support. Oh, I didn't see it, but maybe I was doing something. I really wish they changed that. That's so old. Browse configs. My friends, none. Community, none. Templates, no. I cannot see it. Um, it's worth pointing out in VR, by the way, the in the VR channel on our Discord, I put together a Fortress Craft test thing just to show off what it's like i've had almost no re response i love vr i love vr to bits i think it is the bestest bestest thing wait is it really in hdrp already hmm. i think it's the bestest thing ever however as a marketable product less so astro tux is vr um what did, what's the other one called? Baggage handling. Sorry, what did I call it? Air plane storming. That's the one. If I do plane storming, that's VR. I, I just linked it there. Uh, but it's just, it should run. Um, but we'll see. At the very least, I would like to implement VR support that you can just walk around another base in um, uh, in multiplayer. But yeah, that's a that's a, a slightly older VR test, and that's a VR test of all the nice looking stuff in Fortress Craft. Again, need to be very clear here. I am about to implement a state of the art renderer. The game is about to drop from five or six hundred frames a second to a hundred. I am about to have a serious performance hit, but I'm not shipping the game for another two years. And touch wood. I want to ship this game and work on it for a very, very, very long time. So when the game ships, it might be high-end hardware only or looking crap. And as... As it goes on, what is a state-of-the-art game in 2024 well, will not be anything by 2028 so i'm hoping i mean i'd love to continue fortress craft for the rest of my life but that is purely down to patronage or i need to re ship fortress craft phoenix for a year and then stop releasing patches and then ship fortress craft uh, revisited ship fortress craft remastered and every year release a new game so the guild wars approach i essentially because patron didn't, didn't exist when i started fortress craft i did I shipped an MMO like Warcraft without a subscription. That's what I did. It wasn't a great way of doing it. The Guild Wars approach essentially says that if you want the new content, you pay for it. Not necessarily a bad thing. Um, you won't see... Um, you should see objects, but our landscape uses a custom renderer. 
what is it opening up here? I said open up that that file there. And it's just gone, nah. I mean, that's going anyway. So. Bye bye. But I haven't upgraded the project. All I've done is I've now got access to uh, HDRP, but it's not there yet. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, Raven Macau, um Fortress Craft Phoenix will be at least as playable on a pad as Fortress Craft Evolved, probably a lot better. So, for example, I think right now, I think you have to press space path to get in the game. I don't think you can do it on the pad. So I was like, ah. Uh... Right. What was the next thing? I've lost it. I notice it's not there. Window. Render pipeline. Uh, no. Right. Come on, guys. Okay, oh, admittedly, I'm not on the latest one. Let's go to the latest one. Window. Okay. Fine. Are we ready? DXR. Oh, DXR is DirectX Ray Tracing. So I plan to impl I plan to support RTX. But I'm just going to put that picture in the Discord. I know quite a lot of you guys don't do Discord, but I also know quite a lot of you don't do YouTube. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Brilliant. There is an issue with the editor resources. Okay, but specifically, what? Uh, unknown creations. I, I pull, actually, let, let's edit the Trello. Let's go back to the Trello. Um, so let's, let's implement, so I reckon two months. So let's just say, um, uh, New Year's Eve 2020. That's my guess. That's my goal is to get this done by New Year's Eve 2023. Um, probably by July 2023, not 2032, not quite that slow. July 2023. I will have implemented that there. So July 2023 will be the point at which the game has... It's come back to where we are now, only it's working. And looks prettier. Well, it looks prettier. At the very least, it should just be where we are now. I wonder what compression it's using, because I don't think it's been a new compression system. But the point is that when I ship the game, it should look pretty fucking nice. But it needs to look really nice now, so that in 2024 it looks pretty good. And therefore, when I'm still working on it in 2030, it looks all right then. That said, we're kind of getting to the point where we are running out of things to improve. Volumetric lighting is really important. Ray tracing is really important for penumbral shadows and stuff. But we've got that. So we're beginning to get to the point now where games in 2032 are not going to look that much different. So you've seen the Matrix demo. That's about as good as it gets. That Matrix demo is beginning to verge on photorealism. It's not quite there. But Unreal 6, Unity, whenever, 2020, should 
look pretty good. Oh yes, I've also implemented a multi-block generic crafter. So you could previously create, I could create machines very quickly. Now I can create multi-block machines very quickly. So midterm, let's move the midterm one. Let's put that there. Laura is still there. She does enough move around a lot. Um, I'll also put rework dust in row, reduce size of base. And in a fancy HUD hollow guy. Uh, move minecarts entirely, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, so there'll be a new tech axe for people who own Fortress Craft. So there will be, you know, something shiny for people who own Fortress Craft when they're playing Fortress Craft 2. So this is going to be an unpopular. Let's chat about this one. So as I said, the important thing is for me to make sure new players are happy and the game is better. People will hate this requirement. The 100 capacity hopper that you are used to is going. That will become a titanium hopper. That becomes an end game hopper. Right now, when I made the game initially, we made it with the 100 capacity hoppers and then we added the logistics and the, I've forgotten the name of them, the small hoppers. But what will happen is those are the ones that you have for a long time. So you have those for 10, 20, 30 hours of gameplay and then you get the better hoppers. So. But people are going to bitch about this. But the thing is, and this is what something I will say so many times. If that's how it always was from day one, would you be happy with it? Yes, you would. Are you happy with it in the sense that I've changed it? Probably not, because you remember the good old days. But the good old days were unbalanced. As a rule, if I were to... Um, if I were to take you to a sweet shop and say, what sweets do you want? You can have anything you'd like. You'd say, I want all the sweets. I want to eat all of them. And you'd be like, uh. So, but that's not good for you. What you want is not necessarily what is good for you. So in this case, you want the best hopper at the beginning of the game and it to cost one detritus. That ain't gonna happen. It's going to be a titanium-based hopper with some sort of copper circuit, a gold circuit board. It's going to be a tier two hopper. Because right now you get the tier one hoppers at what? Iron. And um, that's it. That's the last upgrade for hoppers you get for the rest of the game. It's not, it's not good progression. Okay, nearly imported. And as I've said before, a lot of being an indie developer is just watching dialogue boxes do. Oh, hold on. So let's also put a, let's go to the other Trello, which again, I think is public, but uh, yeah. I do have a note to wonder why my computer is going so slowly. Uh, this is mostly Astro Trucks now. But we also have non-project specific. Uh, where is? 
don't have it. Let's put it here to try and remind me. Um, update Patreon. Talk about Astro Trucks plus Phoenix. Fix the tiers. Be more clear on the tiers. Etc. I said fix all and it went, there's still some issues. Right. <laughs> now, to be fair, I'm on the latest Unity. This is the cutting edge Unity. Right. SRP patch must be enabled. So that is under player. So this is why I spent time doing other projects. So I can come into this. I know what the SRP batcher is. Um, I'm going to restart Unity as I have a sneaky, sneaky suspicion. Might uh, work out. No, uh, working with two games quite the opposite. That makes me less burned out, not more. You get burned out to a degree when you, you've got to do something. You've got to implement some horrible, horrible feature or some bug is kicking your ass that happens if i can then just say you know what i'm not doing fortune for a week i'm gonna go back to astro trucks oh i forgot how good this is oh i love that and then i'm working on astro trucks my brain will go i've worked out what the issue is in that so quite often it's the other way around um i can have a look at the crash report i suspect though it's oh it's potentially dangerous shut up Bear in mind, of course, that this uh, this log file is from a completely ancient version of Unity that we no longer use. Um, yep, it crashed. It crashed in... I do do. It crashed in... Yeah, I'm going to guess that's your video card drivers because uh, one of the things in the cool stack was... 36 nvidia 3060 ti that's just a guess though but yeah right i'm not saying that the new unity is much slower than the old one but holy shit Do we get newer? Ooh. Ooh. Wow. There's a lot more rendering than I had expected. I wonder what this is. <laughs> um. Okay. Ring. HDRP wizard. There is no HDRP asset assigned in the graphic settings. Well, sign one then. Well, there aren't any. Okay. Assets. uh create oh god all right let me bring it across to this screen so you can just see unity like many mmos need to clean up so if i right click create oh god i want is it rendering hdrp is a global settings asset the same as a render pipeline asset? No. Really? Because I kind of feel it is, you know, Unity. I kind of feel. Uh, when I said check for update, I didn't mean by opening up the dialog box. Yeah, okay, shut up.
<laughs> what would you have me do? Like, it says there isn't one. Fine. So it's not that. Fine. So what is it? It's not a HD render pipeline global settings asset. There aren't any in the scene that I can use. Um, I, I installed Newtonsoft JSON for Battle for Space. And I have never used anything so slow in my life. I ended up writing my own JSON parser. I could not believe how garbagey it was. You know, creating garbage, not garbagey. Hey, whatever you guys want to do in a mod, knock yourself out. It's a HDRP asset. Remix HDRP asset. Is this what you want me to create? Yes, you didn't mean a render... Aha, now we're about to do the. Let's go to do not use till 2020. That's not VSync. And we are going to. Now, Unity is promising. Not holding the breath. Is promising in 2023, I will be able to use both URP and HDRP. That means I should be able to support very, very shiny, sexy lighting and potatoes. I'm hoping. I, I'm, I'm, I don't know. We'll see. I'm glad you guys are very excited about the versions of the compiler that we'll, we can use. I'm, I'm happy for you. I won't be using any of it. But hey, you can use what you like. Um, so Fortress Phoenix Day 1 will have mod support. I might even be able to make it look at Fortress Craft Evolves mods, but all the mods will just work. There's very little reason they won't. All the networking will work. Um, oh yeah, I mean, there, there's one. Uh... Let's not call this visuals. Let's call this the um, timeline. Uh, implement Steam Works Networking Sideline Lidgrin Allow Abstract. Uh, what's it called? OSI layers. Steam. Support in VR. Yeah, I mean, Fortress Craft supports XML only mods, which I was actually quite pleased about. And the game ships with one. Like the game ships with a mod. So when people are going, oh, I don't know how to mod it, I'm like, dude, it, 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 it's fine. Just you can literally just write a bot. I've made it so, so simple. Hmm. I tell you what I'm going to do is I'm gonna I'm gonna upgrade good as well. What is moddable? Well everything. I mean what well, one statement I said before, and I'm gonna, and it's true, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna remind people of this. Cryoplasm could have been done in a mod. Nothing about that requires me to have the code base. So there is no HDRP asset assigned to the graphics settings. Yes, there is. But now. Now it ain't quite so good. 
So the idea is, so I've been working on this about another half an hour, give or take, and then um, ironically, I need to stop to go and get something to eat and start the build for Astro Trucks for tonight. So we are apparently in HDRP. So let's go to the main menu where I'm, I'm much more likely to be able to uh, see what's happened. The main menu does have a scene. And you'll notice that it is. Ooh. Ah, so it looks right till I turn on lighting, then it goes. <laughs> okay. So Unity, I noticed I said skybox off and you are showing me a skybox. I don't, I, I don't want a skybox when I say. <laughs> oh, is it actually? Okay. So they, oh, so they work. Legacy shader particles. Okay. Um, there we go. I should find something. There we go. So these ones don't work. So now I'm going to press the other terrifying button. Do you like pink? Who likes pink? Convert all materials. HDRP. Oh, yes. This may be the end of the stream. Oh, no, no, it's, it's doing. I love the way it fills up, and then you can just about read it here. It's about two hundred out of four thousand. But progress, very small progress. I'm going to get a drink actually. So you guys get to watch this, and I'm going to make Dora big. I can just find my mouse cursor. You get you get to watch Dora in all her glory. Yes, talking about you. Um, so you watch uh, you watch Dora. I'll be back in a moment. And of course she left. <sighs> mm. 
Right, so um, as I said, I will I will be doing these streams every Friday. Um, I won't say without exception, but that's the plan. I I pledge to work on Fortress Croft at least one day a week for the foreseeable future. Probably a lot more, but that's the plan. Um, as Astro Trucks winds down, as Astro Trucks ships, more and more time will go into Fortress Craft. I will make sure I do an at everyone in the live streams channel. So if that pisses you off, un right click from, you can mute that channel. That's the point of it being in the live stream channel. Major announcements will go into the announcement channel, but I try and keep those fairly minimal as some people don't like getting harassed 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 on that wait nicholas fce won't open and run right that's definitely your fault <laughs> i mean it runs on mine you saw it and i'm on a 3080 oh yeah so yeah as we mentioned earlier, uh, the Patreon money, it, it, it does help. I'm not going to say it doesn't help. It really does. However, I'm running on a, a 9 series Intel. It's 4 series old. I need to get a new computer this year. And that's like two and a half grand. And so it's stuff like that. That's what the patronage is for. And what the patronage supports is the... Uh, Is that sort of progress? Uh, so, so looking at the old Unity launch menu, Kohaka, did you know that we weren't supposed to use that? We were supposed to write our own in game, and that was only for debugging and testing. And everyone went, because Unity said that they go, we've just removed it. And we were like, what? But what? You're supposed to do it in game. And everyone sort of went, are you joking me? We thought this was the way you did it. Also, bear in mind that Unity launcher allowed you to configure the controls, which you cannot do in game. And that was written into the um, into the registry and you couldn't control it in game. So they removed it, as Unity is wont to do, without having a, a, um, a replacement. Oh yeah. Now this is what annoys me. Why is it doing this? I understand it wants to import them, but import them as you render them. Most of these aren't in this scene. Just, just if you cannot, if you haven't imported it, don't render it. Don't make me wait for you to import assets I might not see for a week. No, Kohaka, you have to write your own replacement. And I was like, what? I was I was bemused at that myself. I, I I genuinely sort of went, but but what? It's typical Unity stuff. Instead of improving it themselves, they chucked it over the wall and went, yeah, don't use that. Don't, don't you not? You don't get to use that anymore. Well, could you write a really good replacement? Yeah, we're not doing that either. Could you give us tools so we actually have an out of the box solution that we just re no, not doing that. Oh, Thank, thanks, Unity. Dora, come back and lay in your thing. Lay in your thing. Lay there. She's staring at me from across the room like, I will not. Hopefully as well. Um... Oops, I am. Even if you don't get to watch these streams live, you do get to either watch them back or ask ask the channels what's going on and, and i am serious what i said in a lot of ways i cannot do this by myself i will obviously try as hard as i can to get the word out about fortress craft but there's a lot more of you than there are of me so please do your best to let everyone know 
Also, change the subject very slightly back onto tech. I said upgrade everything, and it's upgraded this one, but not this one. Well, why didn't you upgrade that one? Materials, convert selected materials. I'm sure. No. So this is not my first project to be upgraded. I've upgraded many projects. I've done a lot of work in the previous time to make sure that at this point I wasn't like what to do. Right? Convert selected materials. Proceed. Nothing. Not a single error. In fact, I'm going to. I'm going to record that. But I do like where I can to just say to Unity, what? Capture video and GIF. All right. So, legacy shade. That probably helps if I capture a video, not a picture. Right. So, legacy shaders. Edit, rendering, materials, upgrade, select shows HDRP, proceed. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Absolutely nothing. Just does an error, doesn't even try. Now I might. Oh, there's so. I get, again, I need to get rid of a lot of shaders in this project. HGRP. It's fine, but that's lost the texture. So now I need to go back to that one, find that texture, then go forwards, and then pop in. Walls and stuff, base map. Was it technical stuff warm? It'll be walls and stuff. I want. Uh, and that is what I take it's gonna take a long time. There are hundreds and hundreds and possibly thousands of textures in this and materials in this game. No, that's not right. Yes, this is the hang same hangar asset from uh other game. Oh, this is walls and stuff. O2. Sorry. Although, what the hell's going on with the lighting there? Well, I'm going to run it now and see what happens. Oh, yeah, and they used it in the mixer game. I love Bit Battle for Space was great. Good pussy Dora. I'd say she's a good cat, she's not. Right, I'm going to tweet that picture. Well, there is the first, that's probably the first actual image of Fortress Crafting. I will see. If, we, if it doesn't crash, we're a long way. That's really important. Not crashing is is really really important and then you know making it all work again oh mc treble don't get me wrong she is an angelic darling beautiful beautiful animal but she is an absolute monster send help i've never had such a naughty cat before so she's a naughty cat as in she will break stuff knock stuff on the floor stare at me now wait uh, i almost don't believe this is rendering anything to be honest what version I am moving to Unity 2023.1 and HDRP version 15. This is as new as it gets.
Uh, oh gosh. Create a volume. Uh, why does it say C sharp? The shader? What? That's not what I want. Give it to me, Unity. Apart from now, I'm really beginning to feel how sluggish HDRP is. Like, click, wait. Yes, that's... I don't know what that is. That ain't what I want. I've just pressed delete. Two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight, nine, ten. Oh my word! Seven, twelve, twelve seconds. Just delete a file. So I am planning on upgrading. I was kind of waiting for the forty eighties to land. Now I guess there is a chance, of course, that they uh, the new ones won't be quite so. Um, New video cards won't be quite as bad as the old ones. I put, oh my god, they're nearly a thousand pounds. It's just insane. And what boggles my mind is that there are so many people willing to pay that much. Like, I, I can justify it as a business expense, but, you know, when it's an actual percentage of my money, it's terrifying. Hey, Rogue Logics, thank you for the follow. So I want one of these. I guess I'll just copy this one across. <laughs> I suppose. And then delete stuff out of it I don't want. Because I can't work out how to create a volume profile. This is what I mean. Unity has kind of got to the point where it needs tidying up. So when I go right click create and then all of these, they go shader graph, HDP. It's it's going to be somewhere under rendering, but it doesn't seem to be any of these. But it might be, but this is the one I want. So. A current HDRP asset does not support water. I don't know what water surfaces is. Real-time ray tracing will come. Not today. It looks like Windows 11 breaks FCE. So you're telling me... now Windows 11 could not have broken DirectX 11 support. I don't know what water is, but we're not using water, so that's fine. Okay, so this is the main menu profile, so all of these can go. Oh, can I not? Reset? No. So these are overrides. Said confidently. All I want to do at this point, I have one goal only for the next, it's about 10 minutes. And then I'm, I'm much as I would love to work on this all the time, I do have a schedule. All I want to do is that, 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 and then wonder why it doesn't look any different. Really expecting it to look different to that. Hmm. I was, I was actually expecting this all to have just broken at that point. Uh, let's use for this 
HDRP. Oh. Well, they are out of their positions. I, I'm bemused that Fortress Craft evolved to stop working on Windows 11, but I don't think there's much I can do about that. So, lava, sand, and cryo aren't water. Water? Think of Assassin's Creed. Oh, God. Black Flag. That's what it means. It means a distorted world plane. That's very different to what I'm doing. Like, radically different. Um, I was really kind of expecting this to look uh, really rather broken, to be honest. Um, and it's not. And, I, you know... I. I guess I should be happy, but I know for a fact that it will break. Let me put a, a test light here. Uh, light point light. Oh, that's no oh, it shows you a thing as to how far it is off ground. But you'll notice that light's not lighting anything up. At all. Alright. Welcome to the world of adaptive lighting. So when it gets brighter my eyes adjust more but we do have a slight issue that is now six billion lumen which is um brighter than the sun by quite a lot let me make it as bright as the sun that's about as bright as the sun apparently and volumetrics once I've got this tuned, it will suddenly all just go bonk working. Let us clear all of the baked data. Oh, that wasn't it. Let me see if the directional light is doing anything. Yes, yeah, so there's the... Oh, see, that looks quite nice. There's the directional light. That's, so I did have some baked data. But you'll notice there's no volumetrics yet. Again, this is that's as bright as the sun, which is, yeah, no, fair enough. Okay, let's fix. Oh, swirly smoke. Yeah, that ain't gonna come back for a, a long time. So let us just set that for the moment to articles additive. I that didn't really improve it. You can all go to particles additive. So I will once once I can see them. Oh my god! I really need to do a pass. I, I shall put that in. Uh, convert up to HDRP. Right. Clear up as many old shaders as possible. 
that be as part of convert to HDR pay. Because holy moly, we have a lot. Because I, you know, I've got one by a game called Hedgehog Team, which is some very nice stuff. But yeah, I can clear down so many of the old shaders. Oh, Ocular shaders in there and just everything. But Forkscraft is a old package that I spent a lot of time working on. So, you know, it's fine that it's got a lot of stuff in it. But I mean, I'm upgrading, but it's losing the uh, Desert Devoid of Life because it should have that texture on it. But it's just like, nah. Ice Winter World. And Spider Bro off here. Why has that not worked? So this why is this one not updated? This is a legacy shader. This this should be the uh easiest of the ones to upgrade. Shit. If it doesn't work, that's fine. Give me an error. Go Nah, I'm not doing that because it's... Um, Shark, I have a question for you. Has Riftbreaker implemented multiplayer yet? Because I am a, a massive fan of their last game. Um, X Morph Defense. Absolutely, totally brilliant. I love it to bits. Like, it's just awesome. And when the new game came out, on Game Pass, I was like, oh, yeah. And then it was on multiplayer. And they're like, oh, we're adding it. But they've added, like, a, they've added a DLC before they've added a um um they had a dlc before they added multiplayer have they got around to multiplayer yet because i was just like i haven't bought it and i'm not buying it until they implement dlc uh, multiplayer so I'm like, no, like this was one of the things that made your game absolutely brilliant was the local multiplayer. Yeah, but but they've managed to find time to add some DLC. And at that point, I'm like, hmm, right, OK. I was quite unhappy, shall we say. It's a nice motion blur though, like nice motion blur. The HDRP unlit. Right, I'm beginning to beginning to get there and I'm putting off oh man I'm running out of time I'm putting off what I just want to get the volumetrics to work that's all I want and then I'm a happy 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 man um but that will be down to the volume uh which i notice that's not the right volume come on go foggy i want you to look just yes that is what i am talking about so in the old days, you would have had to implement uh, like you'd have to fake this. But here it's done properly. I mean, I know it's nonsense, but that's not the point. There should be now if I take this light here that I uh, have completely forgotten the name of. Base lights. Bright test light. Let's make it bright. Red for sake of argument.
Now, I have found in Unity, unfortunately, to make things work the way you want them to work, I have to crank the fog up to a insane number, like 10. And then, oh, that looks so cool. And if you don't think this looks cool, just unwish the fortress scruff right now because this is this is what we are going to be uh <laughs> like not quite like this obviously but if uh foggy atmospheric lights do not uh do not do it for you let's see if i can explain why they're so good for i said i am approaching the end of the stream so i just make that uh Oh, that still breaks. Okay, you can't make it too bright. So if I turn shadows on, let's turn the main light off for sake of just for a moment. There. That's not a faked beam. That is a correctly real time calculated light. So if I move that light here. Now imagine your carts have got beams on like that. Imagine your um, cargo lifts have lights like this. Imagine that there is your ore extractor. See it shining through the, uh, the doors sort of uh, frame. So that's where I'm going. It's going to, it's, you know, I say probably not quite this over the top, but I have very little when it comes to willpower. And then you've got stuff like the uh, the toxic caverns. You know, it doesn't make any sense that it's bright like that, but I think I can do. There you go. I can do stuff like this. So you've got the uh, the light for your toxic caverns, a glowing, misty sort of light. Now. I promise to try and show some restraint, but I probably won't. But I promise to, no, I probably won't. I promise to think about showing restraint. How about that? Now, unfortunately, three dimensional shadow maps are even more expensive. So I need to be a little bit careful. So my next goal is to make the game work again. Uh, yes, so let's try duplicate that one and let's call this uh, thick, pardon me, thick fog. So that's thick fog and this one on the hand will make this much less. The problem is I want strong atmospherics but without having crazy, crazy fog volumes, uh, crazy fog attenuation. There we go, much more subtle. Go me. So in theory, if I do a fog volume and I find that, I wonder why it has no, oh, is it just really small? Why does it not have a, It's quite small. And hello, Mario, 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 Mario. Oh, add a collider to this game object. Fine. Why? <laughs> you add a collider in. Pretend that there we go. So we now have a, a volume inside which the fog is thick. So when we are inside, so if I, uh, I, and again, I have to be a little bit more careful because um, obviously now when you're inside here, stuff outside looks foggy because that's how it works. But you can do volumes. So this would mean that when you were in a room, it, fa it, you know, it fades into the room and you're in the room and it's all super, super duper foggy. And then you walk out the room and it's not. So I'm hoping you, you guys begin to see how I can make 
the um uh the the the, 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 the game you begin to understand how I should be able to make the local volumetric fog. Yeah, here's the, here's the other thing you can do. Oh, are you serious? What number would you like to press there, Unity? They've also got fog volumes. So here you have got a. Uh, can I make it a sphere? No, it doesn't look like you make it a sphere. But what I can do is. If I make that more like 16, 32. It's quite hard because we're not in a scene with anything in it. But imagine for sake for, for a moment that you've got this around the uh, around your um, code. So I put it to black for that. Yeah. So I want it to be blending mode. Multiply? No. All right. Min. Why do none of these do it? <laughs> Um, it's not what I was expecting. Well, let's just put it back to Alice so you can see for the moment. So where it's, you can have areas over there that are thickly fogged. You can also then have, uh, ah, that's what I wanted. I believe there are accuracy parameters that I want to fiddle with. I mean, does it come with one? Of course it does. So you can have thickly fogged rooms, really thickly fogged. So when you walk into a uh, an unfiltered room, it can look like this. Um, is it just where? Oh, oh, yeah. There we go. And honestly, I think a lot of the game will be thick fog like this. But thick fog, unlike Fortress Cross fog. So Fortress Cross fog was there to cover up the fact there wasn't anything there. This will be thick fog so that light can propagate through it. It's got that thing that keeps telling me this is as bright as the sun. It's like, eh, I don't think it is. Having said that, um, obviously, even with the sun, you know, if it's a thick, foggy day. The point is that the fog is there, but it is not, it's, it's not obscuring stuff in the same way that, uh, range. But this is the problem I found, is you t end up having to have incredibly bright lights and thick fog in order to make them have this sort of uh, look. This is, again, I'm not tuned it, you know. But yeah, clean room will take the fog away. So what would happen? Uh, and, well, you saw the other test, but, but what the clean room would do would be to... Uh, Change this number here. And it probably wouldn't, because I'd probably have it. Uh... Do it that I can't work out the. Yeah, so I can actually have the fog go down. So I'd probably actually do it like that. The fog would move downwards. So. Room that's full, room that's clean, with a uh, exciting blend between them. So my main, my 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 goal, and again, I will probably work on this before the next stream. But my goal is initially to um, remain very excited. So tick there. Um, 
my next goal is to make everything work again. And lots of stuff is not likely to work in a hurry. But bear in mind, I've done the easy stuff today, so don't think, oh, I've done half of it. Yeah, halfway there, because I'm not halfway there. That's not, that ain't how it works. I wish it was. Uh, let me untick the uh, height on the fog. So the next step is to, for example, I need to rewrite the landscape shader for Fortress Craft, which I, where the? Bleh. Well, I know what's going on there, but hey. As I said, we are we are estimated two years out from release. It's okay. I'm not going to be polishing, polishing, polishing. So first step will be well to go and eat and then to make a build for Astro Trucks. If you want to if you want to be around later, we will be doing shop. Uh, I will be streaming. Oh, uh, I will be streaming Astro Trucks later on. Again, screenshot. I'll be streaming Astro Trucks later on. Um, um, oh, what am I doing at the weekend? I can't remember. But I suspect I will find some time over the weekend to have a look at this. So one of the things that needs to happen is this landscape shader needs to be rewritten. I don't even know what that is. But as I said, I've done the easy bits first. Which is, you know, always a good way of doing anything, really, is starting with the easy stuff. Oh, yes, I wrote a special shader that didn't have any fog in it. Well, that's not staying, is it? But I have just weeks and weeks and weeks of tidying up, fixing, reassigning shaders, reassi re reassigning textures. But yeah, I wrote a special shader, you see, that doesn't um, have uh, any fog, which was actually much more difficult than it should have been. But it means that you could see stuff through the fog. So that's the other problem, of course, it's going to be getting all this balance, but hopefully with the rendering the the distance rendering i should be able to oh man i should be able to finish my sentences i should be able to no lost my train of thought i start thinking about shader graphs damn it um no what was i saying i should be able to with something something i should be able to uh brain can't remember oh well uh yeah um it's about making stuff yeah so with the far field renderer it should mean that the surface can be fog free underground is thick and cloying and terrifying but above ground not so much okay I will just very briefly, as this bit will create shader graph HDRP lit um, Phoenix terrain. Hey, there we go. Now, unfortunately, getting that to uh render any textures that's a lot more work i have hundreds if not thousands of materials to fix and what you see 
are all the ones that Unity has managed to fix by itself. <coughs> I have to balance the way the lighting works. I don't even know what that is. Oh, that's dust, isn't it? We don't actually appear to have any sun. We do have one. Just at a stupid angle. As you can probably tell, I am very excited about this. I I have said many times before that I love Fortress Craft. I love it to bits. If I didn't work on it, I would hang around on the dev forums and harass them for new patches. I, I really, really, really love this game. I've always loved it. It is... Holy shit, this lighting is broken. When I click on that light, suddenly it went... Oh, and then started rendering it. I don't know why there's no lights. Oops. Have you heard me angrily typing in numbers? But that's a disabled object. Okay. Oh, we do have some lights, though. Okay, one last thing. I promise, I promise, I really, really, really... Much as I want to work on this, just lots. I can't just drop the game I'm currently working on for, my, for the new exciting. Even though I want to. But if I just quickly add a volume and I add in the uh What on earth is that? Don't know what that is. Ah, there we go. Right. Ah. Okay, that's possibly too much. Well, oh, there you go. Oh, the bloody fog's getting in the way. Smoke new. Uh, articles. Additive. Oh, is that about to look like that? Because that'd be cool. No. Well, it's something's happening. But yeah, I, I have, I not only have to work a lot on the volumes, I also have to uh, control them. But I mean, I, you've got a little bit of what I'm talking about there, I hope. So, I mean, I've put lots of glow sticks down, but they're lighting up the sky because it's supposed, you know, it's thick fog. So...
So you, yeah, we've got atmospherics. That, that's the important thing, uh, and they're very important to me. But you can see that the, the glow stick has a glow around it. It's not just a single point light. You can see the light, not just what the light hits. And already beginning to sort of see, I mean, the sun should probably pierce a lot of the light. So stuff won't be foggy and misty during the daytime, only at night. As you can see, I have a huge amount of work to uh, achieve before we're even close to showing anything. So by next week, I hope to have fixed a few more of the issues. I hope to... Um, uh, be in a, a slightly better thing, better position. I've just changed that number. While, while, I, while I've got it there, I will change it because I don't plan on actually having the glow sticks have a brightness of 60 million. That is too many brightnesses. We have a long, long way to go. I hope that you find the journey interesting. I hope you join me, join me on at least some of this journey. Um, and if anyone is concerned about anything, feel free to have a chat. I've already had um, Flexible Games um, uh, complain to me that you won't be open world and I will force you to build it the way I want and the progression will be linear. And I was like, where, what, where do you get any of this from? No, no, this isn't the plan at all. Um, what? Okay. Uh, default volume. Phoenix default volume. Phoenix. But yeah, there will be a lot of time. It will take me a long time to get this to a, um, a state where it works and it's balanced. So don't expect that to happen in any sort of time frame. The pink is one thing, but just, you know, making the sun the right brightness, making it so you can see stuff underground is, is a huge amount for me to do. And I, I promise to get on with it. Um, oh gosh, yeah. Oh, that might help, HDRP. The memory saver map should work, yeah. Yeah, lots to do. Um, I need to stop back with Tad as well and see where we're at for that. I've also got to... So, again, I've done the easy bit. But one of the next things coming is I need to rewrite all of the instances and all of those shared instances change. That's a lot of work. There's a huge, huge, huge amount of um, to do. But I hope you will join me on the journey. Um, I will just check my calendar. I think I'm free next Friday. Just double check. I don't have anything major on. Uh, yes. So I will be streaming next Friday. Same time. Same back channel. We will continue to improve things. Um, Please do subscribe, ring the bell. I will mention on Discord what I'm doing, Fortress Craft streams. You are, of course, all invited to those. We will be um, continuing with Astro Trucks. And if you are interested in Astro Trucks, especially if you're a um, Patreon, please do join us. It's getting quite good. I'm quite enjoying it. Uh, it was about two o'clock today. But that, that depends what I've got on. So as a rule, if I have a really gnarly bug, I will probably get that done before I start the stream. So I don't end up going, hey guys, I can't talk. I've got a really difficult bug. But yeah, much, much, much to do. But plenty of time to do it, Tim. And I will finish off on... Fuck on. Is it? 
Hmm, did that come back when I turned it on? I was watching the stream. Back up there. Damn it, it's already done it. Oh, no, wait, wrong, wrong monitor. But because this is a dynamic game, it is going to prove to be very tricky to get it just right. But I'm hoping, very much hoping, that you are all on board with the visual changes and improvements I'll be making to the game and the, the different look. I just wish I could just make the volumetrics. I want to just make the volumetrics thicker. I don't want to have fog. I just want them there. So, yeah. Um, if you have missed the stream, feel free to... Um, you know, go back and watch it. That's why I do the stream. Is so you can go back and go, oh, you did the thing. Right, that, that is now somewhat brighter than the sun, just in order to get that. One thing Unity can't do is um, rapid moving volumetrics. To be fair, Unreal can't either. Um... this okay, you can sort of see the volumetrics the volumetrics can get chunky i'm hoping they increase the quality of that this may be you know 40 90s only love i love that. i love that the fact you can see a light without seeing a light is uh totally totally awesome yeah look at that Hopefully that's coming up on the stream, as cool as it is here. And then hopefully you will have... I, I mean, I think Deep Rock Galactic for me was so... I, I, I couldn't stand the game very much, but I love the, the art style. I love the assets. I love the lighting. And it just felt like this. It just felt, you know, like you're in some cave system with, with this you know, horrible amount of lighting because that's what you get in the caves. So I'm hoping you guys are excited about the graphics upgrades that will be coming as time goes on. And we will uh, we will reconvene this time next week for more Fortress Craft. I will be streaming Astro Trucks development on Tuesday and um, in about four hours. So I'm going to stop now. I will. I will. Because hopefully I will actually manage to get... Um, <laughs> a build done in time there are your fortress unity has got some issues right now with um build times but hopefully they will resolve before we uh get fortress craft cool don't forget to subscribe thank you if you're a patron you're awesome um please 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 if you can become a patron, it really, really super, super, super helps. It really helps. I, I cannot describe to you how much that helps. So, yeah. Please do if you can. If you can't afford it, for God's sake, don't. Uh, I, I've already had to tell that to a few people. If you are not in a position in your life where you are um, able to afford to help, don't. That's okay. I have had some people go, oh, I can't afford it, but I will. Don't worry about it. You're really not missing that much right now. And I will return next week. You're all invited. See you then. See you on stream. See you on Discord. See you on Twitter. I possibly see you on Facebook. Um, bye for now. Now I need to count to like five.